Hello. How's it going? Um, we're we're gonna we're gonna play some Soko Loco, and we're working with money this time. All right, I'm gonna try and leave some more um, gaps. I guess when I build um, loops, I think is good a good time for when I when I build when I do a um, <clears throat> time lapse. My brain is is very good. Um, so, you know, I'm getting a little bit better here and there at doing this. Um, we'll, we'll see, we'll see what happens. Uh, you know, this is a, a process of experimentation. Much is changing all the time. So, this level adds a new resource, money. To get money, bring planks, bricks, steel to a store. There's also a third page in your suitcase. Oh dang, tunnels! Yo, whoa, one-way gate. Uh -oh, oh, block signals. Oh man, things are getting complex. Forest quarry, oh, you can build forest now. And in a market. Oops, didn't mean to skip there. Flip toy, oh, I mean, I already did that. The first option is a tunnel. Place it next to a hill, turn to, to tunnel through it, makes sense. Next is a one-way gate. The third option is the block signal. These turn red if there's a train on the other side. Uh-huh. However, they don't work with wooden tracks. Okay. See help in the options to learn how they work. I kind of do want to see how they work. Uh, next, next option is market. Turns money into a resource of choice. Ah. We're getting a little bit Catan. Um, place it on an industry to convert it to a market. Place it on an industry to convert it to a market. I'm not sure if I understand that. Um, maybe, oh, I guess like if you place it on uh, like a mining camp, for instance. Be warned, you can't delete markets once built. Oh, interesting. Lastly, there is the forest quarry. This will make wood, yeah, I figure. This will make woods and rocks grow back. The resources take twice as long to gather. Place them on non-depleted wood slash rock tiles. Interesting. You can't remove them unless they are fully regrown. All of the new options cost money to build. Money can also be built or used to buy upgrades. Buy upgrades at the industry buildings. Your goal is to gather five stacks of money. Good luck. Wow. Um, I am... This game is so cool. <laughs> I I don't know what it is. It's just a combination of like a uh, certain just a lot of mechanics I really like and I just love how they're they're expanding on some very cool concepts and mechanics. So, um I'm not going to make the same mistake I've made the in the past. We're going to set up some very basic stuff to begin with. Um so I'm gonna I'm gonna set up we're gonna set up a garage. I don't know is this a do we already have a market or is this part of the town? This is a store. It sells resources for money. Okay. Um I'm gonna go ahead and put the garage right next to it. That might be a bad idea, but I figure if something is already taking up space, males will make it take up more space and that way we can avoid two things at once, if that makes sense. Um, so we're gonna get want to get wood. We're gonna want to get stone or brick. Where's our? Oh. Oh. Okay. All right. This is um. This is already quite a lot. Um. Well, let's get uh let's get a loop going. I'm gonna I'm gonna do a, a short time lapse here for um getting the wood loop going. Okay, 
All right, I'm back. That was a lot. Um, <sighs> oh, I don't even, I don't have enough. I don't have enough for next uh, another locomotive. Oh, this that's bad. Um, all right, I'm gonna have to convert. We're, this is this is gonna be a lot. I'm not gonna lie. Um, I'm gonna have to convert this train here into a steel train. Um, maybe this warehouse was a mistake. Wow, they really they really have you strapped for resources, don't they? Um, I I am now questioning everything I've done. Hold on a second. Give me, give me one second to think here. Um, I think I just need, I need some stone. Um, since we are so strapped for resources, I'm going to wait. Can, can, can we make a stone wagon? We can. Okay. So, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to, this, this, trust me. If this seems like a lot, you're not wrong. This, this is going to be kind of insane. Um, I'm gonna send this out. Oh, I just realized I did this wrong already. All right. I'm gonna convert this um, wood train into a stone train just for a little while. Hold on. I have to. I have to do a little bit of juggling here. Why does? Why is that not connecting? Is it the wrong way around? I think it is. Okay. Um, all right. Let's uh, let's get it situated. Um, I think this will be right. This is this is. I, I won't lie. This is going not well. There we go. Perfect. Now we're gonna get this train over there, and I will eventually connect both. But for now, um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna clear this. And I need to get this going. So I think eventually I'll just buy another locomotive. We're just gonna get some stone. Never mind about steel um, for now. We're just gonna get stone. In fact, let's uh, let's get these guys off there and get them on stone. Um, so we're gonna get this guy. He's gonna go here. He's gonna load in. And then he's gonna go here. Uh, takes bricks steel bricks um the idea here is that it's gonna come here and load off the bricks to the stone mason uh i don't know if i can change these location like this is this is maybe the one thing that is like not intuitive about this game because like I would like, I mean, it's it's chosen correctly, so I guess I shouldn't have to worry about it right now, but, you know, um, in the future, it'll it'll become a problem for me. Uh, takes rock, planks, bricks, steel. So I'm gonna be taking rock and then take, bringing it to the stonemason. Um, pick, uh, sorry, drop off at the stonemason. Then it's gonna, it's gonna be loading load out then load then in and then i want it to load out again <laughs> but this time i want it to load out at the warehouse and see this is the problem puts cargo in inventory um the, the problem is that it's loading out at the stonemason even though this station is both the warehouse and the uh the stonemason and I don't know how to change that. It might be that I can't change that. It might be that this is just a limitation. I'm I'm trying I'm trying all of the buttons and scroll wheel, even though we know don't touch that scroll wheel. So this is not gonna work, huh? Uh, we need two stations. So, I mean, you may have uh, questioned my decision to put the warehouse here, and you were honestly not wrong to do that. Um, so, yeah, I wonder, like, if I put... I'm just thinking out loud here, which is not a good thing to do, necessarily. Um, if I did something like that... 
This is this is awful. Um, we need another. I guess we can reclaim the this station here. You, I, I feel like I really think they they should have started me with some more, um, more resources than they did because I I can't even get my second uh, loop going on here. Let's try something like this. This is awful, but at least it it's gonna work. I'm gonna try and see the reason I haven't been using the scroll wheel to just select the track I want is because my scroll wheel is absolutely distort like just not working. So this is specifically warehouse. This is supposed to be stone mason and warehouse. So never mind. Um, so then we after it loads out, then loads in, then we go here and load out. The problem, there's one more problem, is that I don't know if it this platform being there is going to work. I could try and put the platform like here. I don't think that'll work either, but we'll we'll, we'll try. Let's see. Let's see if this works. I have a, a suspicion that it will not work, but you know, uh, let's let's be optimistic. Let's see it load in. Got the stone, it's coming around. Load out, okay, we're making we're making stone. Oh, I just realized it can't get to that platform. I guess it can. <laughs> this is the worst loop I think I've ever made. Okay, it's loading out and it didn't get the stone. Did not get the stone. <sighs> hmm. I, I almost feel like restarting this whole thing. You know what? Let's do that. We get a different design. And you know what? Uh, that might that might make the difference. We still have a saw. We, we still have one of our um, processing plants on a cliff, which kind of sucks, but... It is what it is. I do want to set up the warehouse. I mean, I know like it, it's questionable whether or not I should do that right away. I think what I could do is instead of having two separate loops for stone mason and sawmill, I could just have one loop. A train just picks up, takes it to the, the warehouse, and then it goes and does it does the same for the the, the stone. So that could work. Um, you know, a fresh start gives you fresh perspective. Perspective. Um, I'm going to I'm going to do a short uh, another time lapse just to set up our our beginning here. Uh, I'm not sure where our garage is going to go, but let's, we'll, we'll, I think maybe over here. I like to put it out of the way. I think this will work. Okay, uh, hello, welcome back. Um, so, <sighs> this is, uh, this is tricky. This is, this has been, this has been a little bit tricky. I think that the setup will work. Um, but I'm really not sure. Uh, we're, we're just gonna have to, we're gonna have to learn, you know, as we go here. Um, we're gonna need some guy, a guy there. So, the idea here is that it's uh, this train is picking up from both the wood and the mining camp um, and then dropping off at its prospective locations. The And the, I think it should do that pretty well. So if we go here and load in, we can go here and then load out. And then we can go here 
and load in. And then we can go here and load out. And that should be fine. You might have seen me trying to play a little bit with um, the warehouse again. I don't think that's going to work, at least not yet. Um, I might be able to do it in the, f I I like, in a bit. But this is a complicated loop right now and working in a, a warehouse, it's not impossible, but see seeing as I have limited resources to play with, um, I'm, I'm just gonna, you know, go ahead and, and uh, just collect the resources unoptimally for now. You might have noticed I'm making use of that trick I found to kind of like, you know, um, space the stations apart. Um, I find that that uh, you know saving that one extra station it helps. I don't think there's any reason to not do this if you if you don't have to, uh, or if you if you don't have to have like you know you, you basically if you're not delivering all of your resources um, at one place. So this this is working out. We're gonna collect resources like this a little for a little while, um, and then I'm gonna set up a food uh, loop. Which, looking at this right now, that's going to be a nightmare. There's no getting around it. That's going to be awful. <laughs> Absolutely awful. Um, so let me let me puzzle that out for a bit. Um, I'm thinking I'll do another time lapse to do that. But I could I could think let's let's think that out a little bit. Um, I've got to I got to collect. I want to collect from each of these farms. And the reason is, is I already have a mountain in the way. I may as well, um, wait, there's more tutorial. Planks, bricks, and steel to a store. There's also a third page, wait. D is this just a tutorial again? Uh, it is. Like, oh, I see, it's giving me the tutorial again because I restarted the level. I've already got a mountain in my way. So I'm already going to want to get over the mountain. If I'm already getting over the mountain, I may as well include this third farm in the loop. That's my theory. Um, so we're going to, the our, our, uh, our train is going to have to have three um, carts on it, just for starters, because we're doing three farms. Um, this is, this is a lot. This is going to be possibly one of the most complicated food loops I've done so far. Uh, I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and puzzle that out for the time being so, so we can get some more people. All right, welcome back again. Now, this was, this is a monster. I I don't think that this is right. <laughs> I don't think that this is uh, really what what we want, but I'm going to just let it, I, I'm gonna try it as best as I can. Um, you, I mean, you can see kind of what, maybe I'm, what, what I'm aiming for. Um, like what what's what's going on here i'm like there's there's about three or four different things i'm trying to accomplish here first of all um since the windmill is so far away from the city i need to add a delay here for the train to basically go around for the windmill to make the bread um you know the train needs to needs to basically I, like i wish there was a wait until done basically um but there there isn't i mean i mean th that kind of adds to the challenge so that's fine 
Um, so I'm hoping that this, this delay is enough for the windmill to make the bread. I'm guessing it's gonna be not. The other thing is that the train needs to turn around about three different times on this track, which is just a bummer. <laughs> Um, the other thing is that since I have three carts on this train, um, certain farms are kind of inaccessible. I'm hoping that this one works here. I think that that will work since um, the train is picking up. Uh, th this station is not close enough to the farm, but this station is. So I am hoping that that'll just kind of work out, work its itself out. I'm also hoping that the train, it being a little bit slower carrying three... Um, carts will be enough to kind of like make the difference that it it just making it in time for that bread kind of worries me actually because it's going to take time for the windmill to process all of the bread and not just one so uh, it's a little bit concerning i'm not sure what we're going to do about that we should get a new home so i'm going to put an, a new guy here and i mean the one nice thing about this whole operation is that um this this whole setup is pretty expandable. I could like, for instance, put another uh, skid there. I think that, did he, th is this not complete? I guess it, it is, uh, okay, so we're fine. Um, I am very curious about whether or not this farm will work. I think it will, um, but like, this is expandable, but at the same time, um, I don't think there's really much way to increase the throughput of bread to the the city because the train can really only make the trip once, if that makes sense. Like, it, there ain't going to be bread left over. Oh, nice. The, the bread uh, was all made. There ain't going to be bread left over at the city uh, when the train comes back because this trip takes so long. And I don't really know how to optimize the speed of this. Um, rather, I just need to increase the capacity of it. Um, that's my theory anyway. You're welcome to tell me uh, I, I'm wrong about that. So we have a, a yet another um, person. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to continue to increase this as much as I can. We'll see. Maybe this, this wheat platform will give it the added wheat. Maybe I could even increase... Like, put um like four carts on on this one. Oh, i see it's not gonna if i put an extra platform there it would actually fill up faster i'm not sure if that's what i want but it's what we're gonna do let's see let's see what happens yeah the, the fact that this farm he is here is a little bit inconvenient Oh, I see. It having that extra wheat means that it couldn't collect from here. That's kind of a problem because there's not really an, an extra way to collect. Oh, that bread's gonna spoil. Oh no, the bread spoiled. Ah, this is a bummer. This whole loop is a bummer. At least uh, this is working out. Yeah, that uh, that bread is never gonna make it, is it? Ah, it just barely doesn't make it. Am I at least getting three breads home? Part of the problem is that the, the 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 bad bread is getting to stay and then the good bread, like there's wheat left over basically. So what I need to do is time this so that right as the train's coming in, I kill this bread. So I've killed the bread. Oh, I see the windmill can only make two bread at once. Oh, that's very inconvenient actually hmm how like this this is all information i didn't have before i don't know how to how to how to make this better i was kind of hoping i could dump all of the wheat off at once and then pick up all of the bread at once but if the windmill needs to process wheat two at a time um, that means that it'll all, there'll always be bread just kind of hanging out there. I'm wondering if we can do some trickery with like reducing the station and then only dropping off two bread or two wheats. I don't know. 
I feel like the answer is actually just two trains. Um, that would actually simplify things quite a bit because then I could have one train coming in on this end and then the other train coming in on this end. Um, it does complicate things a little bit, obviously, because then we have two different trains dropping off at the windmill. That is obviously going to be a problem. The other answer is, of course, um, I just don't worry about it for now. We have two extra people, uh, which I could bring take off of the farms. This this mining camp is about to run, to run out of resources. <sighs> this is, uh, I, you know, maybe maybe the solution is just to kill this food loop for now, uh, and then bring in a, a simpler food loop later. I think that's actually probably a solution. So let me let me alter. I'm going to cut the, the food loop in half so it's only incorporating these two farms over here and then the windmill. And that should simplify things quite a bit. It'll give us some uh, resources back. And then um, I'll, we'll reconvene and I will, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll puzzle out the next part of this, which is going to be steel. I'll see you soon. All right, I'm back. Um, so here's here's the thing. I've just realized there's no smelter on this map, like at all. There's no smelter, so we can't make steel. Now I understand this map is meant to exp um, basically uh, get us to figure out money, like that money is a thing, money is a mechanic that we need to be utilizing. Um, so I understand that, uh, and there's like plenty of things that we can sell to make money. Um, I just, I just find that a little bit curious. There's no steel, uh, especially since it like mentioned steel as being one of the resources that we can sell. I understand that, you know, you, you have to explain that when you're explaining a new mechanic, you have to explain like all the ways in which it can, you know, be used, but it is a little bit strange, um, that... They just, you know, steel is omitted completely from this uh, layout. So um, that does simplify things a little bit for us. Uh, our, our guy over here is, is done. Uh, there's no more stone to be uh, mined or anything, you know, left there. So we're gonna, we're gonna have to figure out, we're gonna basically expand this loop. We still don't really have a lot of wood to play with. Um, and that's, I think that's okay, um, because we're basically just going to use this loop since it already pretty much uses all of the things that we need. Um, I could make use of this, these woods over here. Uh, I was thinking maybe this, these woods and the, this stone over here would be pretty good because maybe I could have him collecting from both resources at the same time. It would be a little bit difficult, but, uh, it could be done. Um, I think we could even like just put a bridge over one of these resources and then have a station like right here could kind of work. It would be cramped, but it would work. Would work. Haha, <laughs> it's, it's a pun. Get it? Um, so yeah, I am a little, I'm just trying to figure this out. These woods are inaccessible. These woods are inaccessible. Like I could use a, we could, we could give, um, tunnels a go since we have, we are after all trying to figure out money. Um, it, interesting as well that we can't use things like block signals or, uh, one way gates because, well, we don't have any steel and they said that we can only use that if we're utilizing steel as our rails. So, uh, you know, a little, little strange, but I, that's fine. Um, I am kind of curious to try and do a tunnel. Tunnels could be cool. Um, so we could have this rail, since we have the stonemason here, we could have this rail going through the mountain, picking up here, and then going back through the mountain. 
Um, that could work. Uh, I'm not going to do a time lapse. I'm just going to go ahead and figure that this one out um, on cam. Let's see. Let's see what happens. Oh, we need money first, right? Of course. Um, we need to make money to spend money. Uh, so we're going to go. Let's go ahead and set something up real simple, like right here. This is going to be dumb, but it'll work as as is most of my plans, you know. So what I'll do, um, I am starting to finally kind of figure out how stations work. So we can do something like that. I think so long as the station, the one station with the um, cart on it is close enough to the, the platform, it should be good enough. Um, so we're gonna, what we're gonna do is have, have him coming over there. I'm gonna, well, we're gonna kill this. We're going to have this guy at B3. We're just going to do rock for now. Um, and the market's here, isn't it? Oof. Okay. That's fine. Well, we'll, we'll have to, we'll have to, we'll, we'll figure it out. It's fine. We don't have a lot of wood. That's like really honestly my main concern. Um, I'm thinking what I'll do is we're just going to double down on stone. And I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this wood cart for now. Even though, ironically, that I mean, like, that's we could use wood more than anything else. Um, send it out. And we're just going to double down on, on uh, stone. I'm going to have two platforms here so that th this will have this will create a backlog. There are three people here, so they should be able to. Uh, you know, fill that out quite nicely, quite quickly. Um, and then I'm gonna get rid of this. We're going to have it come around here and we'll need a three station. Is this one, this whole station, I guess, reaches the platforms. I think that that'll work. And then we'll do something like this. That's, it's ugly, but it'll work. Um, I'm sure there are better ways of setting this up, but you know, let's, it is what it is. Uh, we want to get rid of that mining guy right there so we can reclaim some of our resources. And then, whoops. Oh, that's, oh, that's horrible. Stop that. Oh, does it just like automatically build a ramp if I'm trying to go up the mountain? It does. Oh my goodness. I've been wasting my time trying to, um you know, being proper about this when, when really I should have just like, yeah, anyway. So, okay, that's fine. And then we'll come in here and then we're basically just going to do a little loop and that should be good enough. Um, this is a very simple loop. I think, I think this will be fine. I don't see how, any, how this could go badly at all, to be honest. I'm going to be confident for once and, and uh, my semi 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 uh some some my some no it's gone never mind confidence gone um all right so let's see let's see this in motion he's gonna come over collect the stone there's a, really no way this can go bad whoa it went bad. Do we need people here? Right. How could I have been so silly, honestly? I... I... I oh my goodness. It, it just can't possibly go wrong. Failed to incorporate the the stone into the, into the mason thing. The thing, you know, the thing. Um, so, mining camp. Um, go here load out then load in then we go here load out and we'll have to put a couple of skids here and i think that that will now be good should be good anyway we'll see let's see it dumps well obviously it didn't have any stone so it's gonna it'll it'll be fine but once it there's a backlog of stone then this should be fine Let's see it. Let's see it work. Let's see it happen even once. 
Perfect. Honestly, if I wanted to, I could put an extra cart on uh, on this guy. And we could have three stone going at once. But, you know, that's it's not really a lot of reason to do that. We could take the money. I wonder if I if I take the money to the warehouse. I always try and work in, in the warehouse for, you know, somehow, but it never works out. Um, I think that this is fine for now. Aerodynamics, train speed plus 25%. Yo, let's do that. Uh, and then we could do aerodynamics, train speed, 25. We need five trains load 50% faster. Coffee. People will walk 25% faster. Um, $5 crates. Trains load 50% faster. I'm not sure this, this menu is a little bit hard to parse, I will be honest. I will also say... Uh, I like the aesthetic of the waviness because we are in the desert, but it is after a while. It does kind of make me a little bit sick. So the level is complete. I I probably overcomplicated this level six ways from Sunday. Um, I understand that we were just trying to get resources to the store. That was really all it was. We probably didn't even need um, to do people like... I know that that sound... Um, I don't know why I collected that brick. That was dumb. Um, like we just needed a beeline to, to drop off resources. And I mean, like, that's always the thing, right? I'm never really quite sure. Should I, what should I be doing? How can I be like, how can I, what, what corners can I cut? What corners should I be cutting? Should I like skip collecting wood and brick resources? Should I build a warehouse? Um, and the answers are never quite clear until basically I'm halfway through the level. So, you know, uh, that's a, that's probably more a comment on myself than it is anything else. Let's get these trains really moving. Wow, they're, they're gassing now. Look at that. They're so quick. Love it. I just want to see how quickly we can get them. Oh, they load 50% faster. They don't... They don't go 50% faster. Let's try uh, coffee. I think, is that like all of the, uh, re the the upgrades we can get? There's probably an achievement for that. If I, if I, if there is one, I did not see it pop up. I mean, e either way. Um, I'm sure I, I did not get the uh, whatever award for. Oh, I did. Okay, complete. And we got it. We got a new item. Oh, is this is this the item? Yes, it is. Nice. I love uh, I love these little prizes. They're some somehow very uh, encouraging. What is this? Flags. Flags zero. I know there's a there's a trophy if I can beat that the last level in under an hour or I guess be in hour. Um, and I took, it took me three hours. So you're welcome, by the way, if you actually watched that whole episode, I, I edited down three hours of game time into one hour, a one, not even one hour, I guess it was like 40 minutes of video. Um, the top record is apparently like less than half an hour. Yeah, number 550. Wow, uh, that's, that's brutal. Anyway, if you're enjoying the series, go ahead and hit the like button. Um, and, you know, I appreciate you. Thanks for sticking around to the end. And uh, let me know what you think of uh, the, the time lapse, the, the editing. I'm trying to, I'm trying to make these, these episodes, like, really dense as opposed to just, like, me talking about nothing. For <laughs> I suppose there's some people who enjoy that. But um, for myself, I, I like to... I, I like to I don't like to upload like hour long videos. That just feels wrong. So let me know. Maybe maybe you would prefer to have hour long videos. Either way, uh, I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.